Thomas Manger of the United States Capitol Police. I'm honored to accept this Congressional Gold Medal on behalf of the men and women of the United States Capitol Police, who bravely sacrificed their own safety in order to protect the Capitol building, the members of Congress, and our country's legislative processes on January 6, 2021. I also want to thank our law enforcement partners, especially the Metropolitan Police Department, who came to our aid that day. Words cannot adequately express our gratitude for what you did to help our officers by joining in the fight that was taking place. It was a day like... It was a day unlike any other in our nation's history. And for us, it was a day defined by chaos, courage, tragic loss, and resolve. And I especially want to recognize our officers who made the ultimate sacrifice. Officer Brian Sicknick, Officer Howard Liebengood. And I want to recognize also Officer Billy Evans, who was lost in the line of duty on April 2nd, 2021 when he was attacked outside the Capitol by a lone assailant. I cannot thank our officers enough for their courage, for their resolve, in order to help us protect the Capitol and the Congress from such a horrific attack. And on the very next day, these officers went back to work and continued to carry out our mission. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Robert J. Conti III of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police Department. And on behalf of the men and women, both past and present of MPD, it is a tremendous honor to accept the United States Congressional Gold Medal. This medal is symbolic of our members' contributions, not just to the District of Columbia, but to the entire country on January 6, 2021. For many of the officers with us, today's ceremony is the first time they have returned to the Capitol complex. Many of us still carry the physical, mental, and emotional scars after that mob of thousands launched a violent assault in an attempt to halt the counting of electoral ballots. The sound of metal poles and other objects striking the bodies, helmets, and shields may still ring loudly. The air, still thick with bear spray and other chemicals, making it difficult for our officers to see and breathe. The calls for your fellow officer to be harmed just as loud as the day that this occurred. But there is hope because through adversity comes growth and we continue to grow together and deliver excellence to our community. 